Yeah, upon seeking several cutscenes, we'll play in sequence. So, get your popcorn, everyone. It's sitting down and watching time. Maybe, maybe BGM 60, perhaps? Yeah, maybe that's a little too much. BGM 50. There we go. Welcome back, and may I congratulate you on Wukla Market's victory on the Right of Succession. It is our great honor to host the comrades of our future Dawn Sovereign. Such a grand journey has doubtless left you fatigued. Please relax and enjoy your stay. If nobody gets into my room at 1 in the morning to want to talk, right? I will. Here we go. Some time later. There we go. See? See what I'm talking about? I just sat down. I mean, fine. Uh, sometime later. Whatever. Surprised you see me? I suppose it's only natural. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, everyone, anyone would be surprised to see you. Uh, may I come in? You came all this way. Might as well come in. I haven't properly thanked you. Ah, right, for helping your sister. <laughs> that my sister was able to realize her potential in testament is testament of the quality of her traveling companions, particularly you. Oh, great. For that, you have my heartfelt gratitude. Push a particular screen to the side. There we go. Um, I only did as you might have, as you might have in my position. Wuklamat did all the work. I was just more of support. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. It actually felt that way. It really actually felt that way most of the time, except during certain fights. For example, against the the shade or against the. Uh, la La Digarmanda, La Mi, La Mi Marganda, whatever the, the name is, the, 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 the trial. So those felt like a little bit of help, but more, like, a lot of it felt like moral support, so that's what I'm gonna say. <clears throat> My primary business is calling, in calling is to deliver a message from Lamati. As you well know, after the Ascension Ceremony, she will officially take up the mantle of Dawn Servants. So, sir, <clears throat> she has expressed a desire for you to accept a post within her administration. Yeah, I don't think so. While making no mention of me. You needn't decide immediately. My sister will uh, broach the matter with you again after the ceremony. Okay. Whether you continue to assist La Matisse uh, or not is up to you. That is all. If you'll excuse me. Don't worry, dude. You deserve. Uh, you deserve a. You deserve a post. I don't know. Head chef of a. Like head chef of a. Something. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, you have become someone irreplaceable to her. As her brother, I acknowledge that with n no little jealousy. Yeah, that's right. But believe me when I say that I hope you will stay by her side. Can't. I'm a wandering soul. Know where the wind takes me. I don't think an honorary position, however. That's fine. She she can join my Discord server. It's okay. Link in the description below. And thus it arrived.
Oh, I, I, I whispered a uh, link in the description below. Because I said La Matisse can join my Discord server. Oh, here we go. That's a lot of people. Oh, my. That's a lot of people. What a crowd! Yeah. As befits the changing of dawn servants. I can feel my, my computer heating up right about now. It's starting. Servant! Look! He's here! And the other head still sleeping? Really? Even on, even on a, an occasion like this? The head of reason is resting again. Thought he'd grace us for this occasion at least. My thoughts exactly. People of Tuliolal, you honor us with your presence. For on this auspicious day, we witness the dusking of one era and the dawning of the next. The succession of dawn servants. <laughs> but I've talked for long enough. Allow me to present a claimant whose determination, wisdom, and compassion guided them to triumph and the city of gold. Oh yeah, because people don't know yet, right? Yeah, they don't they don't know yet. It's gonna be a shock for a lot of people. My daughter Wuklamat The underdog The undercat maybe, I don't know. Huzzah! Huzzah! Oops, sorry. I had to, like, alt tab it for a second. Growing up in this city, I used to think I knew all there was to know about Tulejolal. But my journey showed me how much I had yet to learn about the cultures, histories, and aspirations of this nation. Through the time-honored Ihana, the Hanuhanu taught me how they nourish and cultivate both the land and their bonds with visitors. And with their alpacas and trade craft, the Pelu Pelu showed me the depths of their patience and fortitude to know when to push through and when not to push your luck. Wait, I just realized she's reciting her essay. <laughs> She's just reciting her essay. <laughs> 500 words on why Tuli allows a great country. <laughs> From the moblins and their artisans, I gained insight into the power of creativity. That it is when we are filled with passion and bolstered by the support of others that we produce our best works. Yeah, fair enough. And in Kozamauka, I was moved by the history and hopes of the Yokui, who believe that death isn't the end, that we live on so long as we remembered. I felt joy and harmony in Yaktel when I tasted Shebruk Pibil, the dish that marked the beginning of peace between the Shebral and Mamuja after centuries of warfare. And I felt sorrow in Mamuk when I met with those who placed their faith in the promise of blessed siblings and for this were burdened with great suffering. Through the understanding we forged, 
I'm hopeful that they will find what they seek through friendship and community. For we are all Turali. Understanding with Mamouk? What sorcery did she use on them? <laughs> the sorcery of Taknojutsu. All of which is to say that, as I've come to know our nation, I've seen the ways in which we thrive, and the ways in which we still struggle. Some in Kozamauka must resort to banditry to survive. A faction of Yokui still cling to dreams of conquest. Not everyone lives in peace and plenty. And there's still so much of Tulihyolol I don't know. Places I haven't seen, and people I haven't met. That's why I hope to keep learning about and from you. That we might build a nation where everyone knows happiness. Because if there's one thing my journey has taught me, hmm. it's that your happiness is my happiness! Mine, but the Dawn Servant doesn't need to be a single person, does it? There we go. Never have been. Oh dear. What is she doing? Yeah. My father led Tuli Hyolao to prosperity by the resolve and reason of his two heads. But my one head can only get us so far. Yeah, we know that much. Someone with the knowledge and insight. Sorry, I didn't just skip that. So what do you say? Be Don servant with me, Kona. Yep. Hey, I saw that coming a mile away. Two heads, two dawn servants, there we go. Ramachi? Are you certain? Absolutely. You take reason, and I take resolve. Together, we make a full dawn servant. Mm-hmm, that's right. <laughs> You'll have no objections from me, of course. But mine is not the approval you need. It's the people's, yeah. During my time abroad, I experienced the benefits of foreign technologies, some of which I introduced to our nation. Dirigibles now soar the sky in the south, while locomotives traverse the land in the north. I was convinced that by imitating foreign powers, we could assert our strength and thereby deter invasion. Yet despite my intentions, I failed to understand what I was too eager to cast aside, and the very people I wished to protect. My own journey has taught me that culture isn't a hindrance to progress, 
but a shared value that binds us, connecting lives and generations. With your blessing, I vow to help Tuli Yolal prosper in a way that honors the hopes and heritage of all her peoples. My esteemed predecessor would accept nothing less. For ultimately, I harbor the same wish as my sister, to give you cause to smile. That is my heartfelt desire. Glad this didn't go to waste. This is the Lay of Legacy. Be part of the Tuli Hyola saga where you and I become the next Dawn servant. Alright, so she had already they did, she already asked people to carve that thing, huh? Good heavens! Don't tell me this is what kept you so busy ahead of the ceremony. Just so you know, I didn't decide this on a whim. After reflecting on all we've been through, I realized it was the only answer. With this, both my brother and I have worthy successors. He would have been proud. So... Hmm. Of course you knew. So I'm gonna guess that that head is not sleeping. That head, dead. It's been three years since my brother left us. Yep. The head of reason is no longer with us. Oh, tragic tidings. I didn't want to believe it. I'm sorry I never told you. We wanted the people to rest easy until our successor could be chosen. But imagine how crazy that is, right? You have you will have like your conjointed twin, which is in his case is the head of reason. And then one day you wake up, right? One day you wake up. And then you realize that the head on the side is dead. That is the most But but here's the thing. Since they're conjointed, there is still blood flow going about. It's just the brain that's gone. How crazy, how nuts, how insane is that? Uh, th that, is an uh, that is an absurd concept to me. I I'm very intrigued. I want to dissect this motherfucker. <laughs> just put him on operation, just put him on an operating table and dissect him, you know? Planning the right was my brother's final duty. He was determined for it to serve the nation's best interests and labored nigh without cease. And then 
And he died, forcing me to do the actual work. A sneaky bastard. <laughs> hey, yo, brother. Hey, yo, brother. Here's something for you to do. See ya. <laughs> See you in the live stream. But he did well. I have to give him that. The outcome speaks for itself. Though not quite to the original script, your new dawn servant rises. May they shine resplendent, and their rule bring light ever greater to Tuliolo. So first things first, first things first, do not fuck up the economy, okay? That's that's your first, that's the first thing they need to do while empowered. Do not fuck up the economy, okay?